guys like you saw in the title we're getting the end up ready for some paint and I'm gonna show you what we're doing to it right now also don't forget the link will be in the description get y'all one of these new t800 hats your t-shirt and I got some work going on right now put the end up over here. what we're gonna do like you guys can see all that Wanted stuff there on the trailer, all that's extra. Only you need that, so that's coming off. Negro working on the trailer right there. This piece just came off of that side. And this was the step I would use to get on the trailer to tarp and untarp. He just custom made me this bracket right here. We're gonna wall this on the trailer right there for me to get on and off so it's gonna go like that and then this piece is gonna go on top of it for me to be able to step on it that's gonna be what did right there and like you can see that's the original angle that the trailer comes on with also, let me show y'all what I went and bought. As you can see, the trailer doesn't have metric lug nuts. So I had to get some of these longer ones because I took off the four steel wheels from the outside. And I'm putting on the new aluminum wheels. I showed y'all in previous videos. And these are the ones I had to buy. We're walking that way. On my lawn. So that's what we're getting done to the trailer. I'm not sure if y'all remember, but I had told you a couple videos ago I had some work done to the trailer. Well, this trailer had a lot of little stuff welded on the side right here. Some other stuff here too. All of that got removed. As you can see right here also, this has to come off. I'm gonna tell the guy to grind it off, smooth it out. Ooh, also I got new landing gear. I need to show you guys that. This is new landing gear right here because uh, the previous one I had, it was our pants. I couldn't really put my, my bottom landing gear up. This trailer looking nice, real nice. to make that step a little bit shorter that way it would not cover up the other two steps on the side of the trailer man that 
trailer is looking real good with the aluminum wheels on it. Real, real good. Can't wait to paint it. Paint it all black. Take it a Freddy. Dual revolution lights. Red to purple, amber to purple. That's gonna look amazing. All right, guys. So the tire guy is leaving. And there it is. The 24s with the aluminum wheels. That looks real good. I gotta go get some foam covers for it. And we'll see what else I do to this trailer later on. But that looks amazing. That looks real good, not gonna lie. All right guys, so I gotta head out to McCarty. I'm gonna go pick up that fuel tank from my dad's truck. The tank is ready, they already divided it. 50 gallons of hydraulic and 100 gallons of diesel. So let's head over there and pick that thing up. As you guys can see, I'm outside of the Furman's truck. I already picked up the tank. I'll show you guys the work they did to it when I get to the yard, but I just spent over $500 getting the, the straps for the tanks, brand new straps, as y'all can see, because I'm gonna change all of them, might as well. So I got six of these for the front and six of the long ones. Let me show y'all. Might as well change them out right now. And I got six of these long ones for the back. But that's what I bought and they're not that cheap. They're like $40 a piece. 40 to 45 bucks a piece. But gotta get them changed. So let's head to the yard and I'll show you guys the work they did to the tank. And here is the tank. First off, let me show you how they had to patch it because it was leaking diesel from here. Right here's where one of the strap goes, so I guess it didn't have that rubber thing that goes on the on the bracket, so it kind of started cutting it open. Here's the front of the tank. You can see where they opened it up, welded it right there, and they added two walls just so it could be extra secure. Here's the lid for the hydraulic fluid. And this is a vented cap. Diesel on this side, nothing was touched over here. Looks pretty good. Very happy with the work. And down here you have the two openings, which I didn't really need two because the end dump only needs one line coming out of the tank since the the trailer does come down with gravity I don't need a return line for that end dump but that's that's the tank right there tomorrow Monday Paco's gonna come polish it hopefully get it done and I can get that tank back on the truck by Tuesday once that tank is on the truck I'll run all the diesel from the driver's side to the passenger side take the other tank off and have Paco polish it also polish the entire tank that way both of them can be can be polished out looking pretty good and then what i'm gonna have to do is find some new steps or go to the junkyard and get some steps in good condition four two for each side same thing have paco polish them i'll take those to him to his house have him polish it looking nice and that's gonna be some of the major stuff that needed to be done on this truck after that i'll take it to an electrician that my dad used to know he ordered the bezel that goes around the headlights the guy has that he already told me that my dad had ordered it so i gotta take it to him get that installed also i'm gonna have him run me power to a switch that goes on this door right here to control the window on the passenger side see if he can do that for me but pretty much that's it i mean i gotta show you guys the trailer how it came out and here's my truck i'm getting something done next week it's gonna make it look badass so stay tuned for that guys don't forget link is in the description get y'all one of these new t800 hats the special edition unit 75 which is trailer up front and unit 75 embroidered on the side but let's take a look at the end of now like i have shown you guys 
My buddy did that right there, which looks badass. I really like how that came out. Cleaned up the sides for me. Removed a couple of things that were welded on the trailer. There was something welded there. He took that off. The 24s polished out. And on this side, there wasn't much to do. There was two little things welded on right here. I told him to grind those off too, take them off. So now pretty much the trailer is completely cleaned up. And pretty soon here, I'll be taking it to get it painted. That corner was cleaned up also. And let me show you all the stuff that he had to take off the trailer. These pieces right here were the ones welded on the corners. And then this is what I used to step on to get on the trailer. So all of this had to come off, you know. It did not look good at all. Same thing, this one came off the other corner. But the end up is looking good. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section.